Hi guys, welcome back to another session on RP Automation in Very Edge 60. And uh, we are going to in this lesson we are going to learn SOAP web services. So in the previous sessions we have already covered REST web services and different methods like get, put, post. Uh, these different methods we have already covered in the REST web services. So in this lesson we are going to learn SOAP web services. So web services what is web services web services is nothing but so we can communicate uh, with the two different applications in the form of request and response so web services are xml or json based information exchange system that use internet for different for direct application to application interaction so you can interact with the different applications uh, different third party applications and you can extract the required user information in the form of an json or uh, XML format. Later, what we can do, we can convert the JSON or XML format into the um, variables or dictionary variable to fetch the required input or output. So let's get started. Uh, we are going to learn SOAP web services with the help of a real-time example. So let me um, open Automation Anywhere 360 control room. Now we are in Automation Anywhere A360 control room. So let's suppose if you want to create a bot, you can just click on create bot or if you want to work on IQ bot, you can just click on open IQ bot option. Over here, let's suppose if you want to check the uh, bot analytics or graphical representation, you have to go to click on, uh, you have to go to this open bot insight option. Uh, if you want to work on array functionality, you have to click on array functionality. So discovery bot. So discovery bot it is use it to create a documents and record the uh, user inputs or end user uh, process. You can just use the dictionary. Sorry, uh, discovery bot. Discovery bot to uh, record the uh, project flow and the requirement document. So uh, today we are going to learn each and every topic in uh, with the help of real time example. But today we are going to learn SOAP web services. So we will be focused on SOAP web services only. So let me click on create a bot. So there are different ways to create a bot. One way we can click on create a bot or else what we can do, we can navigate to home and here also we have a click a bot icon. Here also you can click on, uh, click on create a bot or else you can directly go to automation anywhere here you can just directly click on uh, a bot or you have to go to click new and there you can select the bot so this is how we can click create a new bot so let me click on create bot once you click on create a bot you uh, you can see the um, new pop-up window create task bot here you need to provide the details such as uh, name description folder where do you want to store the a specific bot you can provide the folder structure as well so let me provide the details uh, let's say name is soap web services and our uh, description is optional if you want to provide the description you can provide else you can leave it uh, let me select the folder structure i have already created few folder structure if you want to create uh, you can create the folder structure under bots in the public folder. We have already covered in these topics like variables, dictionary variable, REST web services, uh, advanced concepts in A360, folder structure and all. Please go through those videos and please let me know if you have any queries or if you face any issues while developing the A360 bot. Please drop a message in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you with the required inputs or details. So for time being, let me select automation anywhere A360 and let me click on choose. Once you select the folder structure and once you provide the name of the task, you can just click on create a bot. So description is optional. Let's suppose if you want to provide the description, yes, you can provide the description, but the uh, you know description length should not be exceed with the 255 characters and the bot name should not exceed with the 50 characters. So let me click on create and edit. Those are all the rules and restrictions while creating a bot. So once you click on create and edit, it will navigate to the development environment. This is the developer editor. So you can see variable type action and trigger tabs. You can select the uh, variable tab to or you can utilize the three different system you know, time, minute, hour, CPU utilized, date, uh, millisecond, mission, automation anywhere, install installation path, something like that. Or else uh, you can if you want to create your own custom variables with the 
different data types yes you can create a variable by using different data types like string number date time window list session record session so we have already covered in the topics in the earlier session so in this session we are going to focus on soap web services so in order to work on soap web services we have to click on soap web services let me search by using soap keyword here we have a soap web services so let me drag and drop so soap web services is nothing but so we will be having a predefined methods and functionalities we can just utilize those methods and functionality let's suppose uh, i want to create a increment functionality so def function a so i want to create a uh, you know increment method increment method is nothing but let's suppose if you provide any input let's suppose if i provide four uh, increment operator what it will do it will increment by one that means five let's suppose if you provide as six it will increment six plus plus means seven so here what i'll do i'll sorry a plus one here I will pass whatever the required values you want to pass it. If from here you can pass actually. Uh, sorry. So this is how you can pass the required values and you can utilize this. Similar way we can also use the rest soap web services and we can uh, utilize the predefined method. So um, for example, uh, let me copy this URL. See, sorry for this one and let me launch this url control c i'll share this link in the description please you can also utilize this link uh, you know to use the calculator functionality for the rest web services sorry soap web services so the same URI I am going to you know update in the automation anywhere A360 soap web services let me go to here so uh, it is web service description language here you need to connect to WSDL by either URI or file if you want to upload a file you can upload the file from control room or desktop locally or you can also pass the variable uh, or else if you want to pass the uri yes you can pass the uri by using this uh, uri so here you can see we have different methods are available let me search so here you can see add method subtract method delete method multiply there are several methods available in this uri so what i'll do i'll just pass the uri name so once you pass the uri name so here you have to provide a, a access location but this is optional but here either you can pass it from by using file option method or you can pass it by uri so here i'm trying to pass the uri and let me click on build soap request so whenever if you click on build soap request it will populate all the predefined methods reusable components in the soap services so just you can select the whatever the required thing you want to perform yes you can select and you can apply the changes so here if you see i have character character sorry calculator functionality so under calculator you can see calculator soap calculator soap 12 so under calculator you can also see different um, methods available add subtract um, multiply and division so how we we have performed here the um, increment functionality similar way so let me choose add functionality and let me click on apply once you click on apply and this automatically the soap request changes will automatically process and reflect under this uh, properties window so you no need to provide any specific properties here you can see uh, port name service name uh, soap version and the operation what you are going to perform all these details will be appear here let's suppose if you want to change the soap web services request you can just click on create a uh, build soap request again and you can change the different functionality so similar way instead of this uri if you want to provide your real-time uri yes you can provide the your real-time uri and you can pass 
values dynamically by using automation in your 360 configuration file and you can fetch the details so sorry here the operations are raw data so let's suppose if you want to pass any input values what you can do you can just click on this value and you can pass the value either from control credential wallet or variable or insecure string so um, uh, best recommendation is to use um, variable or credential wallet we are not supposed to hard code any values by using insecure key keystroke so for time being what i'll do i'll just pass 10 and let me click on close and second variable i am going to pass uh, 10 and 20 and let me click on close so uh, the soap web service is supposed to uh, calculate these two additional operation and it is supposed to print the output so 10 plus 20 we should get the output as 30 since we are using the third party dummy url so there is no authentication required otherwise you can just click on basic authentication here we need to provide the username and password for, and certification for the certi if, you, if any certi client certification is required you need to select the certification path as well for the uh, soap web services you are since you are using dummy web services right these details are not required but in real time you, you need to provide all these details but you don't need to worry so all these details is going to provide by the business or the client so let me select the no authentication request as of now and then certificate is optional there is no certificate install to fetch the password required details let's suppose in the real time if you want to fetch some details by using soap or rest web services or uat and product environment it is necessary to install the certificates okay so but in this case it is not required to install the certificates uh, so let me go to xml schema so we will receive the output as xml format rest web services we have seen all the outputs most of the outputs uh, we, in in the json format but here we will be getting xml format so the xml format is very easy to fetch the password why because we can write a xpath expression to fetch the required output field especially but json it is very difficult to fetch the required output there we need to use the string operations but here what we can do we can just assign the output to a uh, prompt assignment let's suppose if you want to select the specific response you need to pass the xpath expression so here you need to pass the xpath expression to fetch the details so for time being what i'll do i'll use the uh, complete response as prompt assignment so that means we'll get a complete response in the xml format there we need to check the output and if you want to fetch the specific output results only then what you can do you can try just uh, uh, use a uh, xpath expression to fetch the uh, password so let me drag and drop message box to display the required output that is prompt assignment let me select the prompt assignment and let me click on save and so on so in order to run the soap web services i need to click on run button let me click on run button once you click on run button it will deploy into your computer and it will perform the addition operation for 10 and 20 and it will uh, populate the results as 30 let's see so but we are not supposed to pass any values like hard coded values or in insecure strings we are supposed to pass all the values either from credential wallet or from a configuration file we need to read a configuration file and we need to provide all the details by using variable only so we are going to uh, you know upload more video videos on real time scenarios uh, how to best practices and how to start a project and what are all the prerequisites uh, what are all the best practices create a components how to capture the custom domex path in a object learning or capture comment we are going to cover every topic with the help of an example so please subscribe and don't forget to click on bell icon that that's why you'll be notified every time i upload a series on videos on automation anywhere 360 so for our we need to it is very important to learn excel maps or python scripts for additional or secondary skill so i'm going to upload uh, python and um, 
uh, Excel macros and VB scripts uh, as well, and other RP automation tools like Microsoft for Automate Cloud and Desktop Questions and your path videos as well. Please let me know if you face any issues and please drop me a message uh, in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you with the required details or information. So hope you are able to understand what is SOAP Web Service. You can see the output and the results here. You can see uh, add result is 30. So if you, you can write XML XPath expression and you can fetch this results alone as 30. Uh, okay, so that's all. So hope you like this video and please um, like and share my video and if you have any queries please let me know oh uh, thank you hope you like this video